Today I'm going to show you how to do spiral rope, but instead of just showing you the stitch, I thought I'd show you how to make a completed project. So I created these spiral rope bangles using just two different colors of, or many different colors, of 6-0 check seed beads. And they're pretty easy to make once you get the hang of the stitch. So to begin, since these are bangles and they're going to be put on your hand repeatedly, you want to use a really strong type of thread. So I'm using Fireline in the crystal color, and it is the 20-pound Fireline, so it's pretty thick. And to complete one bracelet, I think you're going to be needing about three yards, but since I'm just going to show you a shortened example, I'm using about one yard. So I have two different colors here of the Czech seed beads in the 6-0 size, and I've got my core color, which is red, and then the outside spiral color, which is turquoise. You really don't need a stopper bead for this type of project because you're going to be going through and making a loop between the two colors. So to begin, I'm going to thread on four of my core color bring it to about six to eight inches away from the end of the thread. Then I'm going to thread on four of my outside spiral color. I'm going to bring my needle back up through the core, all four of them, so it creates a loop like that. Now I'm going to add one more of my core color and four more of my outside spiral color. And this time I'm going to step up one, skipping the first core bead and going through four of the core beads, including the one that I just added. And that's another loop in my spiral right there, and I'm going to slide it over so it's next to the first loop in the outside spiral. I'm going to continue in this exact manner, threading one of the core color, four of the outside spiral color, and going through the very last four beads of the core. Taking that last loop added, sliding it over next to the previous outside loops. And as you can see, a spiral is forming on the outside of the core. So I'm just going to continue for a little while here, and I'm not going to make the entire bracelet due to time constraints. So this is what the completed spiral looks like, at least two and a half inches of it. So I'm going to switch gears here a little bit, and I have a project that's almost finished. The difference with this project is that the core is a 6-0 mix, and then the outward spiral, instead of just being four more seed beads, it's two of the 6-0 mix with one five millimeter Swarovski pearl in the center. And you can do that, you can add embellishment to the outside spiral because you don't have to pass through it multiple times. The core is the one that you need to pass through multiple times, so you need a, a bead with a slightly larger hole. So since I have this project almost all the way done, I'm going to show you how to complete it. I'm going to make one more spiral just to show you where I am. So like the other stitch, I'm going to add one of the core beads, which is a 6-0. Then for the outside spiral, instead of four 6-0 beads, 
You can add 160, one five millimeter pearl, and then one more 60 bead. And the pearl sandwiched between two 60 beads, that's going to be your outside spiral. So just like in the other bracelet I was showing you, you're going to pass through four of the core beads. Then your outside spiral goes right into place there. Now I've made this long enough by measuring my hand kind of with your thumb tucked in Measure around this part because it's going to have to be able to slip over your hand fairly easily, but then not come off. So once you get the length that you want, you're simply going to join this end to this end and complete the spiral. You're going to thread the working end through the opposite end coming out right after where the last spiral began. So that's three beads in. You're going to pull it closed. And at this point, all you need to do is continue making spirals until the two sets of spir outward spirals meet up, which is what I'm going to do right now. Once you have your spiral complete, you're going to run your needle and the rest of your thread through the core beads as many times as you can to strengthen the bracelet. Before you do that though, you're going to tie an overhand knot between two of the beads around the thread. Weave in the rest of your thread. Remove your needle and do the same with the other side and then trim off your excess thread. And that's it. That's how you make a spiral rope bracelet.